Y'all gotta be tight. Like, y'all not moving pee. Like, the same way these guys be moving pee, you need to be moving like a female pee as well. See, I'm capital P for real. The last thing I'm gonna do is fall for a ho I might fall with a bitch. I might give this and that and that and this and do all that, but falling for actual falling down for a No, search key. What's good, Double C Gang? Welcome back to the Shade Room. It's your girl, Double C, back on the scene with another YouTube video for you guys today. As you guys can tell by today's title, we are doing a girl talk. But POV, you're on FaceTime with me. I'm your big sister, and I'm giving you girl talk advice. Hello, let's get into it. So I posted a poll on Instagram asking you guys to drop some girl talk advice you need, girl talk questions that you guys want me to answer. So I will be spilling all the tea in this video. Really excited. I have some Taylor Port with me and I have a wine glass. This is my second time having Taylor Port. I'm not encouraging underage drinking. I am of age. I'm 21 years old. If I can open it. Every time I feel like I got it, I don't have it. You got it all the way around. I am. It's not opening, and I'm trying to film a video. Bro, of course I will buy the bottle that does not open. I literally have to stab a knife through the top of this. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you are loving the POV series. Videos like this will be posted every single Wednesday, and weekly vlogs are every Sunday. So make sure you guys turn on your bell notification so you're notified every single time your girl double C is back on the scene, and that's on period. Without further ado, let's get into the first girl talk question. I'm also supposed to be doing my makeup at the same time. So I don't know how this is about to go. I, I don't. So first things first, let me start by answering the first question. It says, talking to a friend, previous ex or man. Opinion on that, by the way, love your content. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. And my opinion on talking to your friend's previous ex? Honestly, my opinion on that is, that's dead wrong. Especially if you and homegirl were close and that was like your best friend like say if she's an associate and you were never really that close with her i feel like okay it really doesn't matter it might still be like a little weird if that's your homegirl and like y'all are close y'all speak every day or y'all hang out frequently i feel like that's that's dead wrong dead wrong it's giving me very weird so i don't know if you're the person who's talking to your friend's previous ex or man but i'm not gonna hold you shorty that's a little weird or i don't know if you're in a situation where your friend is talking to your ex or your previous man you need to cut her off if that's the case that's weird mm -mm. unless she gave you permission i mean that's cool but like i feel like that's very weird like shorty you got my leftovers it's definitely giving weird it's giving that's not your friend it's giving she been wanted him what honestly no real friend of yours is gonna go and talk to somebody that you previously used to talk to especially if you and the boy fell out in a like real bad way and she's messing with him it's just given they either been used to mess with each other or they been had an eye on each other because there's just no way or she been had an eye on him and she made her move after y'all fell out but honestly i feel like that just breaks girl code out of all the boys in the world you going for somebody i used to talk to that's fake crazy i'm not gonna lie to you my opinion it definitely gave she's weird and if you're the one who's talking to your friend's ex i'm sorry but you a little weird so every time i do a step of makeup i am gonna take a sip of my wine Ooh. Because at Taylor Port, it will get you there. I just finished outlining my brows, and I put a little bit of gossipy glue on them. Ooh, it says, what do you do if you're with a man that treats you great, but the D is not giving what it's supposed to? You know, why is it always like that? For some odd reason, it's always like the guys who you actually like and you're not supposed to be with always be the ones end up having like end up having like the best intercourse with but the guys who are actually good guys and treat you good it fake be trash but sometimes you could get lucky and you could get a good guy with some good you know d but i've definitely been there before and me personally that can be a deal breaker for me because if you're not satisfied in bed with that person you're gonna go outside of your relationship looking to be satisfied and let's just be real like you need to be with a man who can satisfy your needs all around i guess you could like probably teach him like what you like but if the d is not giving then maybe it's just not giving so i mean he might have to go i don't know let me know in the comments down below like 
Is that a deal breaker for you? Me personally, yes, that is a deal breaker for me because if you cannot satisfy me, I'm, I'm good. Like, mm, I don't know, but that's such a hard decision because it's like, what if this is like the man you've been asking for, the man of your dreams, like God sent, and the sex is just whack. Like, then again, shouldn't be like the center of your relationship. Like I said, you can probably try to teach him like what you like and what you don't like but if after you teach him it's still not giving then i feel like yeah you might just have to cut him off i'm not gonna hold you because me personally if it was me i would cut him off because let's think about it if it was you he would be quick to cut you off period let's be for real let's be for real if it was you he would be doing the same thing he would definitely 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 be cutting you off Next question I got is how to get over a breakup. Me personally, and the type of person that moves on fast, I don't attach myself to nobody. No matter how much I like you, I don't get attached. I am the master of detachment and that's really what you have to do. You cannot be so attached to people. You have to master detachment. No matter how in love you are with somebody, you need to know that people are temporary and it's not like I'm not trying to say you should prepare for the worst. You just need to know people are temporary and you should not like get so attached to somebody. If you got your heart broken, that's because you got way too attached and you put your all into somebody. I've said this before in another video and this is straight facts. Like if you got your heart broken, that means that you just put way too much time and energy into that person. Now I'm not saying don't give people your time and energy. Set boundaries with people. You just have to learn that like you can't give your all to everybody. It goes for both male and females. Like you cannot give your all to somebody because that's how people take advantage of you and that's how you end up with a broken heart because you literally put your all your time all your energy into somebody and that's how you get a broken heart so to avoid broken hearts do not put your all into people don't be too available for people that's what it is like i said if you got your heart broken that's only because you were too attached you have to learn the master of detachment and detachment basically is like it's not preparing for the worst but detachment is more like i'm not gonna get too attached because you know something could possibly happen i don't know if that's like a bad a bad way to go about life but that's just personally how i move with people especially in this generation you just can't be too you can't give your all to people attachment is going to be your best friend in life it's so sad that we have to like say that but People are here to disappoint you and you're here to learn from the lessons. And I don't mean to say that in such a negative way. I wouldn't say people are here to disappoint you, but you're here to learn lessons from people. So don't take anything too personally. And the way to heal from a breakup is literally just to let the time pass. Time heals everything. I know that's such a cliche and corny thing to say, but it's so true. Like a month later, you're gonna realize, okay, that situation didn't even matter to me. But it's time to prime my face. I just finished doing my eyebrows. I'm using this elf primer i don't like to prime my face before i do my eyebrows because i feel like it affects the way i do my eyebrows so i prime my face after i do my eyebrows and i love this primer because it leaves my face feeling nice and like kind of tacky so my makeup lasts all day and it sticks to my face so well, we love that um this is the elf power grip primer how can i tell if it's less or truly suppressed feelings from first impressions mm, that's a good question i can tell when it's less based on the activities me and the person do together if somebody's just trying to chill with you like in the crib <laughs> i forgot my foundation oh my god <laughs> if a boy is just trying to come to your house and he's not trying to really take you on dates and actually spend time with you and get to know you um i also feel like certain compliments too can really like give off the vibe of less honestly I put too much foundation. That was a lot of foundation. Oh my god. Trust the process. That was kind of a lot of foundation. Honestly, you just really never know and you have to use your discernment. I was gonna try to sit here and like think of signs that someone is like strictly lusting after you, but sometimes people put on such a good act that you literally might not even ever know until they get what they want and then they're done with you. When you meet a guy that you like, ask god to reveal his intentions with you and he will do that so you don't end up wasting your time all you got to do is ask like just say it write it down i don't know how you do it but 
You need to ask God to reveal this person's intentions with you and God will show you. He will show you. All right. And I feel like another way to tell if a guy is strictly just lusting after you is the certain compliments he gives you. Like if it's literally compliments just based on your body and like, you know, he's not really like feeding your mind then it's definitely, definitely just lust. Like, it's honestly not hard to tell when a guy is lusting after you. Some of us try to like, I've been there before. Some of us try to ignore the signs and like, oh, maybe he actually really likes me. No, he doesn't like you. He's sexually attracted to you, yes. But he's not necessarily mentally attracted to you if he's not really trying to get to know your mental and get to know what's on your mind, what you like, what you don't like, what your favorite food is. Simple stuff like your favorite color, if he's not asking you met, like mentally stimulating questions, it is most likely just lust. He has no other intentions but to screw you. And please learn from my mistakes. Do not fall for none of that stuff because a lot of guys will literally pretend like they like want, I don't know, guys are just weird. Like it's 2023, if you just wanna screw me, just say that. Like. I might not be with it, but at least I could know up front and I don't gotta waste my time. But just ask God. That's all the best advice I can give to you is ask God. Cause like I said, people can pretend, people are really good at that nowadays. Like, so you really just gotta use your discernment. Ask the man upstairs, what is this man's intentions with me? Somebody said, I need to stop smoking weed. Please help. I need some tips. I need some advice. I've been trying to stop for like a year. Okay, so me personally, The only reason why I stopped smoking weed, if this, I'm not gonna lie, if it didn't affect the way I eat, I probably would still be smoking, not gonna lie. But with me, I am on like a weight gain journey and I just don't like the way weed makes me feel when it comes to eating. Like weed is such a vibe when it comes to everything else. But bro, when I tell you I cannot eat after I smoke, that's what made me stop smoking weed. I, I like to eat, like I like food. I don't wanna waste money. I be buying food, right? So I'll, I'll smoke, I'll buy the food and then I won't even eat it because I got so high that I couldn't even eat. And I just never liked that feeling. So for me personally, it was really easy to stop. I was never able to eat, didn't have an appetite. So I was getting really slim, didn't like that. So me personally, it was really easy for me to stop. But all I'm gonna say is, for you to stop smoking weed, you're literally just gonna have to stop or take smaller breaks, smoke less blunts, smoke one blunt a day. If you smoke three blunts, go to two. If you smoke two blunts a day, start smoking one. If you smoke eight blunts, you're probably in too deep. You know, it's just a process. You have to be willing and able to fight that weed addiction, honestly. I mean, personally, I don't have an addictive personality, so it was really easy for me to stop. If you keep smoking weed, you're never gonna stop. If somebody offers you gas, you have to say no. Like, don't buy it, don't smoke it, don't be around it. How do you know when a girl has lost interest in you? I guess this is a guy asking a question. And why did I just realize that I ran out of setting spray? There's nothing coming out of here. <laughs> to know if a girl or a guy lost interest in you, is if they're not texting you back. All of, it's 2023, let's be so for real. We have our phones in our hands 24 seven. If you're calling my phone, if you're texting my phone and I'm not answering, just know I'm ignoring you. Not even to sound rude, I'm really ignoring you. Because we always have our phones in our hands 24 seven. If someone really likes you, they will never be too busy to answer that phone, to answer a quick text. So if a guy or a girl is not texting you back, baby, you lost them, period. They're not interested. They're probably talking to somebody. No, nah, let me stop. They're probably, I was gonna say they're probably talking to somebody else, but sometimes people go through things where they like to be alone. And that's kind of me sometimes. And people take that so personally where it's like, oh, you didn't text me back. Like, girl, I was depressed. What do you mean? Like, I didn't feel like talking to nobody. So, but honestly, if she's not texting you back, that's the first time that she's not interested. If you ask her out on dates and she is constantly flopping on you, she doesn't answer the phone when it's time to go out, y'all make plans, she agrees to them, but when the day comes, she has something coming up all the time, she's not interested. If you have to literally ask yourself, is somebody interested in you? They're not interested. 
point blank period but honestly just ask her straight up too so you're not sitting there playing the guessing game like are you interested in me or not like it's 2023 let's keep it a pup like what let's keep it a pup what action should i look for if he really loves me um that is such a good question honestly i don't know because i don't know what love is <laughs> let me take a guess so i feel like if a guy really loves you or he really likes you or he's really into you he's gonna make time for you he's gonna take you on dates he's gonna get to know you mentally he's gonna get to know like who you are as a person versus just trying to get in your pants it really won't always be about the sex um what else can i say i just feel like he'll really be like catering to all your needs like when a guy likes you he's gonna do anything for you literally Somebody said, how do you know if your prayers slash manifestations are coming soon? Honestly, with stuff like that, there's no time. There's no delivery date. God doesn't send out a tracking number and like, hey, your blessing is coming tomorrow. It's all with faith. You have to have faith that things are going to happen for you. You have to have faith that whatever you want is coming into your reality. There's no specific time, date. There's no way to really know. You just have to trust the process, stay faithful and really just continue living your life, be obedient. Like I said, there's no delivery date. We don't know what tomorrow brings. Do you believe in second chances when a man cheats and comes back? No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you why, hold on. Let me get into this, let me get into this. Let me, let me take a sip of wine for this one cause y'all got me messed up with this question. If y'all wondering if I'm feeling the Taylor Port, absolutely I am. You only need one glass of that stuff, I swear. But let me blend to the gods because we need to make sure my makeup is blended. Because you know, when you're a little bit lit and you're doing your makeup, sometimes you really never know what it looks like until you're finished. And I don't want to finish. And then I'm looking in the mirror like, what the f Okay. Let me answer this question though. So honestly, my opinion on taking a man back after cheating, I don't care like how people feel about this. I think you're stupid if you do that. Listen, we all make mistakes, but me personally, I'm not going for it. I feel like that's the most dumb thing to do because I feel like now you making him feel like, okay, she took me back before. If I do it again and I say sorry and I buy her this, she's gonna take me back like no i'm not going for it honestly you cheat on me once you're done you're out of here hello next caller i'm not doing that like honestly i don't know if i've ever been cheated on but like i've never been in a relationship where i was cheated on or i'm not like aware that i was being cheated on like i've only been in two relationships my, my two relationships never ended because somebody cheated like no i've never found out that like a boy has cheated on me like somebody i've been in a relationship obviously you're in the talking stage with people most likely they're definitely talking to other girls honestly if a man cheats on me that's just the last day he's gonna have communication with me and i don't care if what excuse he makes there's no excuse there's just no 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 excuse for cheating like, to cheat you have to think about cheating right First of all, when a man cheats, this is how this is the steps that goes, right? He has to see a female that he's interested in, right? He has to already think that she's attractive. That's that's two steps already, right? It just takes too many steps to cheat for you to be like, oh, it was a mistake. No, you thought this out. He has to find the girl attractive, number one. Number two, he has to have some sort of interaction with her. Number three, they have to talk to start, like, he has to talk to her before he starts cheating, right? They have to talk before it even gets to like the whole intercourse part. Even talking and flirting is cheating. But anyways, he has to talk to her, have conversations with her, he has to be texting her. That's three steps. You know you have a girlfriend. This, you're, you're, you're three, these are three steps. You're one too many steps in. Like you had to deliberately think about this before you did it, right? So he has to, he has to talk to her. They have to link up. They gotta see each other in person. Knowing that he has a girlfriend. I've never been through this, but like, I'm doing a math and it's, the math is not mathing. He has to link up with the girl. Then he has to put his thing inside of her. Like, <laughs> that's just one too many steps for me personally. Like, for you to be like, oh, it was a mistake. I didn't mean it. What do you mean you didn't mean it? You did 
did a lot. You did a lot before it led up to the whole having S-E-X part. Like, bro, what? Like, what? Let's keep it a buck. I'm not going for it. So I feel like if you take a man back after cheating, he has, he's not going to have no respect for you. Like, you might think he still has respect for you, but in the back of that man's head, the way he think, he, the way he's thinking, he feel like he could dog you out and do it again. So ladies, it's 2023. If a man is cheating on you, leave him where he at. Period, bro. Like, I just feel like females need to start standing up. Because there's no way. Like, there's just no way. Even for guys as well. If your girl cheat on you, like, leave, leave her where she at. Period. Because girls cheat too. Okay, let's be real. Everybody, well, in this generation, <laughs> everybody be cheating. But that ain't none of my business. That is not my business, but for me, I just feel like it takes one too many steps for a guy to cheat on you for me to take him back and give him a second chance. Like, I'm never trusting you again. Like, and why would I want to be in a relationship? Whoa. Why would I want to be in a relationship with somebody that I don't even trust? Like, what? Well, let's keep it a bug. Like, let's be so for real. Can we please not take these men back after they cheat? I never understood that, me personally. Like, that's one thing I'm going to go hard for. I've never been cheated on or... Like, I've never been in a relationship where somebody has cheated on me. So, I've never felt that type of pain, feel me? But I've seen, like, women go through it. And honestly, bro, I'm not standing for it. Like, I'm not, bro. Like, there's a man who, who's out there who will do you better. Or do you worse. Who knows? It's, it's straight up a no. It's no. It's 23, like I said. Stop taking these men back after they cheat on you. You look dumb. I don't know. Nobody else is going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you, you look dumb. Talk about boys and peer pressure. I know exactly what she's talking about. All she had to say is boys and peer pressure. I've been there, done that, don't want to go back. But what she's trying to say is like, I guess boys peer pressuring you into having SEX with them. I've definitely been there where it's like you feel like you can't say no. And they're just like literally begging you and like they're making you feel uncomfortable and you kind of feel scared to say no at this point. So you just go through with it. I've definitely been in situations like that. And honestly, that is like the worst thing ever. Boys definitely do peer, like not all boys, of course, but you do have those guys who like kind of peer pressure women into having SEX with them. They kind of make you feel bad for not wanting to. And honestly, boys like that are very lame. Of course, need not to say. But I've definitely been there. Don't think that you're the only one who's ever been through that. Where you're just chilling with a guy and he just like... It's kind of forcing himself on you. Like, I wouldn't even call it the R word, to be honest. Like, because that's honestly... Um, I'm baking my face right now with the Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Banana. But I've definitely been there where it's feel like I'm being peer pressured into doing this. And I end up just doing it because... I was kind of too scared to tell him no just because of how much he was peer pressuring me so you're not the only one i feel like a lot of those females go look through like similar things and that's why i feel like girls need to like honestly do better and stick together like how these guys be sticking together us girls need to stick together and do way better with how we treat each other i don't know i feel like girls are not really as united as we should be and i feel like guys have this like this guy code that I don't know I just feel like girls need to do better with sticking together I feel like guys stick together so well and no but I definitely know what you're talking about where they like kind of peer pressuring you into doing it with them and they try to like make you feel bad I've been there and it sucks is pre-sex awkward for you what is pre-sex <laughs> no seriously what the SEX <laughs> like are you talking about like foreplay honestly I feel like foreplay is the best I feel like I get turned off when we start doing it I prefer foreplay over anything I honestly don't even like to do it I feel like when I do it that's what it's like Ugh. we could have just stick to the foreplay baby foreplay is the best if that's what you're talking about no it's not awkward for me foreplay feels the best then when you actually do it, it kind of ruins like the mood that you had during the foreplay. But foreplay over everything. Oh, this is a spicy question. Somebody said, did you ever like, did I ever play with myself when I was younger? 
<laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way you just asked this question. I definitely did. How to manage to stay on track and have fun is such a hard balance. Honestly, in my personal opinion, if you are somebody who likes to have fun, let's pour some more wine actually, shall we? If you are somebody who like, you're too focused on really like having fun and you can't even balance your work, you need to cut the fun completely out and focus on managing your responsibilities. Now, I would say if you wanna have fun, but also manage responsibilities at the same time. You need to have days where like you just have fun, which I suggest would be the weekends, which are Friday, Saturday, and that's it. Friday, Saturday, you have your fun. The rest of the days you go back to work or take care of whatever responsibilities you want. Because I used to be that person where it's like, I'm having fun, 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 fun. And I'm not taking care of resp my responsibilities because I'm too wrapped up in my fun, 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 fun. Now I'm learning at 21, I'm learning self-discipline. I feel like self-discipline is so important. Self-discipline ties into this question. The answer to your question is you need to have self-discipline. You have to know when you're having too much fun. You have to know, okay, I'm having too much fun. I need to focus back on my responsibilities. Your fun is actually not even worth it. I feel like having fun is cool, but at the end of the day, it's responsibilities over having fun. And that's point blank period. Because you have bills to pay, you have responsibility, you have a future to think about. The people you're partying with are not gonna matter 10 years from now. What's gonna matter 10 years from now is if you took care of those responsibilities that you had to do back then. So responsibility over fun. Responsibility over fun. Just remember that, period. Self-discipline is the answer. Best motivation or ways to get motivated to start working out. Honestly, my motivation was my mother. Shout out to my mom. My mom is like my, my best friend and I love her so much. But yeah, my mom was my motivation for the gym because my mom, she never really used to be a gym person, but she literally put her all and she got so dedicated because she stayed consistent. Consistency will lead to motivation. So once you stay consistent with something, it will lead to you being motivated to do that certain thing every day. And honestly, I don't be in the gym every day. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I go to the gym and I'm such a gym head, but I do work out pretty consistently compared to like how I used to. So I try to go to the gym three days out the week and I take two rest days. So two rest days, yeah. I think that's what it is, something like that. Once you stay consistent with something, it will lead to motivation to like keep doing that one thing, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's eating healthy, whether it's um, starting a YouTube channel, whether it's like being dedicated to posting on social media, whether it's, I don't know, writing a book, whether it's journaling, you just have to stay consistent and like literally you just have to learn to love it. Working out may not be fun, but you have to think about the benefits in the long run. It may not be fun in the moment, but it'll prolong your life. It'll make your body look better. Just think about like what you want out of that stuff, the goals you want out of it, and it'll motivate you. Every time I'm in the gym, I imagine the body that I want to have and it motivates me to pick up those weights and start lifting them. So really, you just have to have consistency. Once you stay consistent, it'll lead to motivation and you'll be wanting to go to the gym every day. Like I actually enjoy going to the gym now versus when I first started working out, it felt like more of a chore. Somebody said how to let go of an ex. First of all, I've been talking and I haven't even been doing, like finishing my makeup. How to let go of an ex. Honestly, y'all asking the wrong person these questions. Cause the way I'm so heartless, not even that I'm heartless. Let me not say that. Cause I, I, I love people, but I'm heartless toward these. I'm heartless toward the. Toward, I'm heartless towards these men. I don't give a fuck about their feelings. So you asking the wrong person question? Like I'm too p. Like let's be for real. I'm capital P for real. The last thing I'm gonna do is fall for. A I might fuck with a bitch. I might give this and that and that and this and do all that, but falling for actual falling down for. No search key. So what is my next step? My next step is blush. Okay, let me be for real right now. Let me be so for real. I forgot my highlight brush, all that. Don't do too much because you don't want to look like a clown. Chanel, so relax. There's a lot of pink on my nose right now. But yeah, yeah, like I was saying, y'all asking the wrong girl these questions. Oh. the wrong female these questions because honestly if i'm be like honestly if i'm be honest i'm way too pee 
I'm way too pee to like be answering these lovey dovey questions because bro I don't be doing none of that stuff I'm not the lovey dovey type if I'm being real like like I can't be the lovey dovey type Ooh, I'm looking like a clown I can't be lovey dovey if I'm feeling you like that but I don't be feeling a lot of these men like I see right through them so honestly how to get over an ex I be over people when I first meet them like like I said in the beginning of the video you gotta have detachment look that word up on Google baby and look at the definition and see what it tells you you have to have detachment if you don't have detachment towards these men you're gonna get stepped over every single time and I'm telling you some real right now like would I ever tell you something to hurt you? I'm your big sister. No, I wouldn't. Or if you're older than me and you're watching this, I'm your big little sister. What they put in this tailor board? Somebody said, why do men cheat and still want to stay? That's a good question. Because they're dummies. Because they don't know what they want. Because they're still little boys. No matter how old they get, they're still little boys. And they can't control themselves. Any man who cheat, bro, let me tell you how this. Any man who cheat, I'm not an expert on cheating because I'm like, clearly I am though. <laughs> I'm an expert on relationships and I don't even be in them. Coaches don't play. But let me tell you this. Any man who is cheating on you is not cheating on you. He's cheating on himself because that man has no self-control. He has no self-control. The fact that he knows he's in a relationship and he went out of his relationship to have intercourse with another woman just shows how he doesn't have respect for himself. If you're trying to say women don't have respect for themselves, if anybody on this planet don't have respect for themselves, it's the men. Men are too easy, bro. Too easy. Men have no respect for themselves, and that's on period. I don't care what nobody say, bro. And this is not me trying to bash men or nothing, but men really don't have no respect for themselves because they're so easy to manipulate. They're so easy to get them in the bed when they have a female at home waiting for them. That shows that you have no respect for yourself. If you're not doing it, you're not care what they say. Men who cheat upon their woman have no respect for themselves. They have no self-love. The fact that you have a woman at home and you felt the need to go get you, like, you're being greedy. Like, men are greedy. That's what it is. Like, they're greedy. They have no respect for themselves. Like, what? <sighs> I will never understand it. If I got a girl at home, why am I, you know, men cheat and want to stay because they're stupid they're stupid they're stupid they don't think they don't have no brains their brain is like this small so that's why they cheat and want to stay because men are dumb period <laughs> hold on hold on somebody said what advice do you have on someone that you like but doesn't like you back or doesn't like you back like that leave them alone leave them alone please for me leave them alone I, I need to do my makeup because I'm sitting here chatting. I'm still not done with my face. I did my blush. Now it's time for highlight. But if you have a crush on somebody and you can tell that they don't like you back like that, please leave them alone. You can find somebody out there who likes you as much as you like them, baby. And that's on period. So please, stop forcing yourself on people. If you can tell somebody's not giving you the same energy you're giving them, Please leave them alone. Stop doing that. Please, you're better than that, period. If you like somebody and they do not like you back, leave them alone. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Like, y'all getting me tight with these questions at this point. Y'all getting me tight. Like, y'all not moving pee. Like, the same way these guys be moving pee, you need to be moving like a female pee as well. Period. How to be open to women friendships with women? Honestly, that's a good question. Because I'm honestly on the same timing. I'm not open to no female friendships. I don't want to be friends with none of these females. Because like I said earlier in my video. These guys be having guy code. But these females do not be on the same time. Like these guys be looking out for each other. And us females do not be looking out for each other. And I really don't like that for us at all. Like we're really lame as hell for that. Like these guys be out here having each other's backs and then you have the girls who are fake af to each other when it's like what we need to be sticking together like the guys do so honestly i'm not open to female friendships either if i'm being honest with y'all like if i'm in a room with females i'm not trying to get to know none of them honestly i'm not i'm not because i already know how girls move girls can be so weird to each other and it's like why are we doing that whole time these guys be looking out for each other 
So honestly, that's a good question. I don't know. I just I, I would say use your discernment. Anytime I fell out with a girl, it's because she was the weird one. Period. I am such like I'm not even trying to be one of those people who get on there like, oh I'm so genuine and like no, like I really have a genuine heart when it comes to everybody and anybody. I be treating my female friends like I'm they I'm they man. Like I've had female friendships where I treat them better than they man. So it's like you know, girls are just, I don't know. Girls are really funny with it. I'm not open to female friendships at the moment, but I don't know. It's like, it's just weird. Girls move weird. Like I said, we need to stick together like how the guys be doing. Because these guys be having each other's backs. And us females, we be against each other over, over like we be fighting each other over money. I'm gonna never fight no female for, for kaki. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do it. Do you recommend staying celibate? Hell yeah, because you wanna know why? These men don't care about you, bro. Like, I don't care if I sound hurt. I'm speaking facts. These men don't care about you. They don't care, bro. Like, to men, for men, S-E-X is just that. Like, for females, when we do it with somebody, it's because, like, well, most females, it's because we, like, have feelings for that person. But for men, it's just, like, it's just whatever they get they they're getting theirs i'm not certain so yes i recommend staying celibate 2023 we all should be celibate and not give none of these no punani period what are some things i regret doing young i regret everything every stupid decision that i made i regret it but honestly it made me who i am today can't really live life for, with regret because it teaches you things so i can't complain but I regret doing everything. Giving boys the time of the day. Don't give men the, like, why am I talking about men so much? Give advice on spotting fake friends. You gonna know. If you even got a feeling towards a certain female and you feel like she funny, she funny, period. Your, your, your gut feeling is never gonna be wrong, period. And that's my makeup. Period. If y'all want another, if y'all want another POV girl talk, let me know. This is my makeup with no Philly. Yeah. Get into her. Definitely fill in the Taylor port. Yeah, I did that. Period. Period. This is my makeup with no Philly. It's really given. No setting spray. No nothing. Yeah. Uh huh. That's me, that's all me right there. And anyways, as we end this video, I want all my females to know that y'all are beautiful. And please, don't let any of these try to play you. Y'all gotta start moving P. Same way these dudes be trying to move P. My females, y'all need to start moving like y'all P too. Y'all not acting P based off these questions. All right, so if y'all want some more P advice from me, let me know i'll do a part two to this video okay makeup came out good period off the taylor port it's a vibe i feel like i could talk to y'all forever i love y'all i love everybody who supports me not even on no wine drunk stuff but i really love y'all y'all motivate me y'all keep me going if y'all want a part two i'll answer the rest of the questions and i'll post another poll on my instagram make sure y'all follow me on instagram as shade room it's the same thing as my youtube channel i have it on the screen and down below in the description box so make sure y'all check me out period let me know what y'all think my makeup is giving and yeah i'm gonna see you cuties in the next video pov i'm your big sister giving you girl talk advice on facetime let me know if y'all like this FaceTime type of series and I'll keep it going. Weekly vlogs are every Sunday and I'm gonna see you cuties in the next video, which is Sunday. Stay tuned for the weekly vlog, baby. Period. And yeah, your girl is feeling good. I'm in high spirits. Don't let these men try to play you because y'all not acting P like I said. Based off the questions I'm reading, y'all not moving like peas. So y'all need to get it together. Seriously. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Bye.